Hello beautiful people! Welcome to my channel. Before anything else, I would like to say thank you. How grateful I am. Thank you for all the good comments and for all the suggestions. We are all communicating well. There are three key players when it comes to YouTube monetization. The viewers, the creators, the advertisers. From a viewer perspective, we want YouTube to be the best place to find and enjoy entertaining content. From a creator perspective, we want YouTube to be the optimal platform where you can produce content your audience loves and for those who choose to and qualify, a way to earn money too. And from an advertiser perspective, we want to provide a safe environment for them to reach their target audiences with precision. How many ads can you fit into a YouTube video? Video under 8 minutes, there is a clear limit. One at the spot before and after the video, but anything longer than 8 minutes, you can have what are called mid-roll ads. And those are the ones that always interrupt the video. Again, Longer than 8 minutes, YouTube will automatically will place a mid-roll ad for you. But in the Creator Studio, you can go in and add more if you like. Anywhere in the video, as many ads as you want. Yes, as many ads as you want. May nag-PM sa akin, nag-request na i-real talk ko ang tungkol sa ads. Napapansin niya may mga ilang YouTubers na wagas maglagay ng ads sa kanilang mga videos. Sadyang pinapahaba ang videos para madagyan nila ng maraming ads. Actually, napapansin ko din yan na may mga naglalagay ng maraming ads sa videos nila. Napapansin niyo rin ba? Putting too many ads on your YouTube videos. You want to have as many views as possible, right? Consider this, an audience that keeps coming back to watch your videos because they are interesting for whatever reason. I can guarantee one thing, if you load it full of ads, the viewers will get tired of watching the videos. Do you enjoy videos on YouTube that are cramped with ads? Of course not. Obviously, I don't want to put many ads because that would just be obnoxious. We know that most people see many ads as a huge pain in the butt. They can get annoying. I choose to show as less ads as possible and let my audience enjoy my videos with less interruption. Doon sa nag-request na i-real talk ko ang tungkol sa naglalagay ng maraming ads, Ito ang sabi niya. But when every 2 to 3 minutes the video is interrupted by an ad, hindi na nakakatuwa. Nakakamiss yung noon when YouTube was driven by people creating good content. We keep on saying don't skip the ads to our viewers pero sana worth it yung video natin na panoorin at huwag naman tadta rin ng napakaraming ads. Mami Che Dugan, hindi po ako naglalagay ng maraming ads sa video ko. Kung ano lang po ang ibigay ni YouTube, I aim for organic views po. Kung tad-tad ng ads ang video ko, iiwan po ako ng viewers ko. Miller Family 4, my opinion is okay naman maglagay ng ads, huwag lang sobra. Sa akin, naglagay ako ng apat kasi if may mag-play sa akin, at least worth it yung pag-play natin. Sayang din naman kasi nag-play ka tapos dalawang ads lang if more than 10 minutes ang video. Creative Mama Chen, pinahaba ng iba para mag-manual sa paglagay ng ads. The algorithm will detect the numbers of ads added on such video. Kahit ilang ads break ang nilalagay nila, the ads won't always appear. 
yung ikaw lang na uploader ang nasiyahan disregarding your responsibility as a creator sa mga viewers mo. Ako, kahit may nag-comment sa mga videos ko pag dinalaw ko at nakita ko na walang laman content-wise ang mga videos niya, di ko na binabalikan. We are here to support each other pero with that, need naman natin i-improve at isipin ang mga viewers natin at pagsumikapan na di masayang ang oras nila sa panonood sa atin. Para sa akin, I am proud of every video that I uploaded. Maiksi man o mahaba kasi pinaghirapan ko yan. That is my creation. Okay lang sa akin kung isa lang ang manood ng anak ko or kamag-anak ko. It doesn't matter to me. Basta ako, masaya ako sa ginagawa ko. I don't need to please everyone. Ang mahalaga, masaya ako sa video creation ko. Based on Real Talk Friend Dami kong nakikitang nag-YouTube basta't makapag-upload lang ng content. Sana man lang bigyan ng meaning yung in-upload. Di yung gustong kumita lang dumami ang views. May nakita nga ako nagluluto lang nakabuka ka walang salawal. Alam mo yung mostly nanonood mga walang channel ba? Diba? Nakakahiya pero walang hiya na sa camera. Bakit hinahayaan ni Lolo ang ganun? Naniniwala ako na hindi dapat mahaba ang video kasi kahit teleserye pag sobrang haba nakakasawa at nakakatamad panoodin. Madami talagang mga gumagawa niyan lalo yung mga member ng team premier na guunahan sa time slot. Yes, meron. Pero hayaan mo na kahit nonsense pa video natin basta masaya, gora lang. Bilang isang baguhan dito sa YouTube, itong real talk nyo po ay eye-opener sa akin. Thanks for sharing. Again, syempre kayo ang masusunod kung ano ang gusto nyong ilagay sa channel nyo. Ang mga real talks ko ay request sa akin. It would be interesting to share our thoughts or opinions to each other to improve our channel. We are here to support each other. Guys, napapansin nyo ba na nakatutok lang ang camera sa labas ng terrace? Paano kung 13 minutes na ganito lang ang nakikita nyo at music background lang ang naririnig nyo? Hindi ba kayo naiinip sa panonood? Ang tanong, may sense po ba ang ganitong content? I do hope you get my point. Real talk lang tayo. Comment down below kung meron kayong napapanood. Similar to this or exactly like this. Marami nang nagre-request sa akin noon at ngayon na i-real talk ko yung mga nagko-comment ng Bible verses at quotes na hindi naman related sa video. Until now, I still don't get the point why they use quotes or Bible verses. Not only that guys, paulit-ulit ang pag-comment nila the same Bible verses para lang dumami ang comments ng video ng katin nila. Please, comment down below kung napapansin nyo rin. To all of you who are new here, my name is Catherine Deloa, 51 years old from Rome, Italy. And I do mostly about real talk on my blog. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you have an afternoon as lovely as you are. May your good afternoon be light, blessed, enlightened, productive, and happy! Yes! Okay! There you go! I hope you learned today's episode and thank you again for joining me here. And please don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. Ciao!